Okay, so continuing. Okay, so let's see. So we've got the eyes. <coughs> now what I can do is start to erase away gently with a low opacity eraser. So I have it at 62. I can take that down to about 38. And start slowly biting away at it. to make the transition between the textures a little bit more believable. I'm using a shaped brush. It's like an airbrush head. But whatever brush works for you, you want it to be soft edged. So this is with just the normal brush, circular, and I'm going to use it at 100% opacity just at the very edge to get rid of that, that hard, hard edge. But then you can't always tell which layer that's coming from, too. Like, for instance, that edge is coming from the, the bill layer, not the eyes. But you can see it starts to blend the colors. In the past, I've called this ghosting because when you use a soft edged brush, it actually extends beyond the brush radius and slowly dissolves out from it, kind of like a ghost. And that's why we did all of the color and lighting adjustments first, so that when we're doing this, the colors already blend as well as can be expected. Okay, once you're gotten the hard edge out, then you can go to a much lower opacity. And blend them that way. So I really want to reveal the edge of the bill now. Bracing back to that as it overlaps Oops, with the eye. Okay. So there's some purples in the eyes now I, I kind of want to get rid of. So that I can go back to hue saturation and just isolate the magentas, those purples. And then I can try shifting the, that hue some other way. giving a little bit of depth. I think it's going to be the reds as well that I want to shift. Towards a bit more orange. A bit more saturated, but a bit darker as well. So those eyes kind of stand out. 
then I can use dodge again just on the midtones and brighten some of the spots that would work with the lighting. As long as I stay on midtones, I'm not going to blast it out to solid white. And remember, I'm, I want to work usually with a big soft brush under 30. And then I can use burn, same thing, to darken the midtones, like on the underside of the eye. And this is still just on the eye layer. especially where it overlaps the bill. Little things I might still want to erase out. But I'll show you another trick for that using clone stamp when we're finishing up. Okay, now I can go to the bill and I can start blending that edge in, starting with getting rid of that hard edge. So softly erasing away. And then let's see. You can kind of cut away from it a little bit better. We're refining now. This still has a two feather pixel or two feather pixeled edge on it. I change that to one pixel for the direct lasso. Not only will I cut the bill out with that, but I'll also cut the seal underneath with it. So you get that. Looks better. Continue that through with these dark spots on the bill. And probably this big dark shadow too. We'll see. So if I want to just make it really clean, I can just cut out the whole bottom part of that bill, like that. Yeah, I think that works. So we're just working on the head. I want to burn the bill. Right at the edges. So take the midtones. Burn those darker. Then I want to take the seal underneath and really burn that where it overlaps with the bill too. So you really get a sense of kind of an indent. And it looks like I can use the sharpen tool a little bit, just like I did on the eye, for this side of the bill. To kind of bring out some of those highlights on that back, back edge. Maybe at the tip. So it all looks in the same amount of focus. Okay, so far so good. OK, 
Okay, what to do with this green? I don't think I need it. I'm going to leave it out. Okay, so now what's the next thing to transition? Well, it's the head of the seal to the neck, right? So first I'm going to just try with that soft eraser. Make sure I get rid of that hard edge first, kind of ghosting it. Then hoping that the layers kind of blend together, that I have enough overlap to help that happen. Even while it's showing a little bit of the whiskers, that's okay. So that shadow is a little dark, so I can then use Dodge to brighten it. In the shadow parts, I can even go to Dodge Shadows to brighten just that brightest shadow. But it's going to get a little colorful. See all the blue that's showing up there. So then I can use the sponge tool to desaturate. Take some of that color down. And then when I erase, it will blend a little bit better. Use my lasso with that one pixel feather just to cut out that bill on the internal edge. And then I can use burn to darken the midtones where the bill overlaps. So putting in a bit of a cast shadow here underneath the chin. If I want to get a little bit stronger, I can go up to 30. Get a little bit bigger. What's nice about being soft edged? But if I go stronger than 30, it's going to start changing faster than I can control it. Okay, so now I think the head's pretty much done. I just want to work with the eye color. So now I'm going to go to adjustments, hue saturation, and just work on their overall hue. Try to figure out what's most believable. Maybe something like that. And then if I isolate out the magentas, let's see what that looks like. Yep. If I just take the saturation down on those, yeah, that's looking better. And then if I take saturation down on the blues, that will make it more believable as well. Not all the way down, but just quite a bit down. I like how the sharpening of the eye really pops that out. Okay, now we've got all the colors adjusted. Now we're just working on the internal. So I can move now from the head down to the body, going from the top back, what's working and what's not working, what can I fix and what can't I? 